held her up, folks. Good morning. Tow wreckers here. That thing is pretty slick. And it looks like Ross Kitman from Utah hitched a ride with him. Awesome. So what year is that? Uh, 41. 41. 41. Old Navy truck is there as we can figure. Military? Yeah. yeah it was. Then it became my personal. I was case. tripping that the doors were so tiny on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time oh yeah, he's all. Like, oh, oh, let's it's let's let's watch him get out. Yeah. Tiny doors on a big old truck. <laughs> and, then, and then how tall are you, Ross? Six four. Six four. That's what I thought. Sasquatch <laughs> live. <laughs> Look, he's a giant. <laughs> it's we awesome. Got right, we got one, two, three, four, five or six more coming. Yeah. Oh. I like it. Oh, that was a design block. Okay.
door. There's a motor scooter that comes out of the nose of this one. The generator diesel engine. I think it's huge. Lucky it did because they broke the bell house and cracked the oil pan, which had it already in there and I had to sneak that little pan out of there with the motor in it. JV welded pan all up and it dropped that freaking drop somewhere. I like the steering wheel. <laughs> I already had it ready to go in there, you know. It's already in there ready to go. Where do you see the front? Where do you see the front? Right, good on that guy. Did you see it's in the front? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and then on. back up. Except they don't run either because I've been too long. COVID kind of got the carburetor all fucked up. There you go, yeah. folks. <laughs> I guess the soda breaks down and it runs out and it's a motorcycle. No, when you go to the friggin' show, it's got to have something to ride around. Right. It's driving this fucking thing around, you know. I can't even really turn it around as it is. <laughs> I'd like to see it, so I just... <laughs> Make it stand out when it's close to the show, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. That's something exactly. It's not something to do with a cab over. Put a little more power Right. <laughs> Goes even lower. Oh, it's out of the door. <laughs> Sucks if you need to rush out of the damn thing. Whatever. <laughs> Quick release push. Skinny enough to slap through that window. As the door opens up, you can just fall out. <laughs> it's a transformer. I was gonna say, kind of back to the future type <laughs> stuff. Is he going to stand up and blow flames yeah, and no, eat no. other cars? Everybody kept telling you can put flames on your car. Got a little more lines, a more freaking injectors in there. I like them headlights, too. Those are a 1926 Stutz Bearcat. The only year they put these little uh, insignias on the headlights. Oh, with the little logo? Yeah, that's the only year they put them on there. I paid $1,000 for them headlights. Oh, jeez. And I got that chain in the back for free. He <laughs> said, take that with you. Well, you have to help me. Somebody else got to help me, man. Awesomeness. Lots of cool old Dodges. And Scott brought out the K5 today. He's not joining us on our cruise, but thought he'd come by and check out what we're doing here. I really like the K5.
be something that is gonna be fancy. There you go. <laughs> here for the Rat City Ruckers Cruising Weekend. Thank you for being here. We're hoping you're having a good time. We had great cruises uh, last night, yesterday, uh, Mr. D's on Thursday night. Well, we're rolling forward. Here we are at Steve Darnell's Welder Up Shop. Steve, thanks for having us here. Got it, brother. Hey, I hope everybody got a chance to go inside and check out all the really cool, fun stuff. Uh, in about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to start to gather. We're gonna have a little bit different than what we posted. Instead of heading from here straight out to Vegas Boulevard and out to Pioneer Saloon, Steve has uh, offered his house as a gathering point to pause, maybe get some photo ops, relax for a second, and then we'll head out from there. So from here, we're gonna just take uh, Industrial South, make our way over to Las Vegas Boulevard. We know it's gonna be a lot of traffic lights. We're gonna lose a lot of people. It's okay, we're gonna go slow. Once we all get on Las Vegas Boulevard South, we're gonna end up pulling over at a parking lot at the Antique Mall, okay? You won't miss it, it's right off the boulevard, easy to find. We'll just kind of gather there, kind of regroup everybody, and then we'll take Las Vegas Boulevard South all the way down to Gene. Not sorry, we're not passing Gene, where do we go? Well, the, Las Vegas just Boulevard just South, way to go just, just to St. Rose. The, uh, I yeah. promise I'm not leading the pack. Okay. <laughs> we'll have somebody up front who knows how to get to Steve. Maybe it'll be the Steve. owner himself. <laughs> so, you um, can't keep up with him. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So, in any case, that's what we're laying out. We're just throwing a little twist in because Steve has invited us to his place. All right. So we'll gather there and then we'll hang out and then we'll head out to uh, Pioneer. Everybody good? Yeah. Awesome. About 15, 20 minutes to be in your car, Steve. ready to go.
believe. Hector, we'll see you.
six of that fucking fiber. Here we're gonna go over to 
Steve Darnell's house. And then we're going to take off to the Pioneer Saloon. Like one of the guys just killing tires. There's almost a whole bunch of us. Yeah, I'm not going to drive this that much. Uh, yeah. We even got a shiny vet. No, no, no. No, no, no. Good thing John knew where we were going. We stopped and there. Everybody stopped. As long as everybody. Amy, 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 here. How deep is that? Here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, we had to take a better look at this thing here. Oh my goodness. Look at all the spark plug wires, it's bob wire. And it does run. It works. We just drove it down here. We saw him driving. That's crazy. Totally crazy. That was in the cage. Oh yeah. I think we're just sitting. I just went back and said, "Andy, you know, I know it's a bunch of beautiful rat rods." Bunch of awesome rusty steel. I thought I didn't see where you're at. You and Steve Darnell joined the group. Yeah, wild beast. I put it back on there because he is doing the group. It's a great group. Everybody's you know, really cool. It seems like it, yeah. Everybody's got some great stuff. It's a wet look, rat rod. It's shiny. Like 1940s? 30s, morning. Oh, really? Come on. It's two thirty. Two thirty for the non S. Undisclosed location, there is Mr. Steve Darnell's house from Welder Up. We're gonna go hang out for a little while before the cruise. How nice of Steve. Steve's got a car on his balcony. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha, 
not go figure. Too cool. checking it out. That guy followed him because he thought his car was cool. That's pretty awesome. I know you've seen all the cars we were cruising in. We're gonna look at some of Steve's stuff that's up on his property here. Some, some rusty goodness. Gotta watch out for the snakes and the scorpions. We'll go up top there and check it out. But yeah, he's got lots of goodies. Let's go back there and check it out. Here he is. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. He's got his own little old school gas station. Junior. Something's coming. I hear it. Looks like Dave. Some rusty goodness. Lots of folks wish they had yard art like this, right? Right. See the car on the balcony? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice tow wrecker. Oh, yeah. yeah. All got potential folks all future rat rods <laughs> he's even got one up on the balcony i don't know if we can see it don't know if we can see it check out the balcony and the waterfall pretty slick Pretty slick. <laughs> this is a cool ass house, man. Awesomeness. In-law residence. <laughs> there are more cars up in the back there. Check it out, folks. This is all like behind the scene footage. You'll never get to come to Steve's house. 
<laughs> nice lift. Cool Jeep. Oh, that's pretty awesome. He's got plenty of parking, folks. Man, he could have a show right here in his backyard. <laughs> Which we're kind of doing right now. An old pump. You've seen all these cars today already. Right now, we're checking out Steve's spa. <laughs> We'll see what's over here on this side of the yard. There's Freak Show, one of my favorites of today. Neighbors got some horsies over there. More stuff. Cool tractors. Was this a field truck or a farm truck? I mean, a uh, fire truck? Pretty cool. Definitely the best, awesome, most awesome yard art I've seen in a long time. You know, because a lot of cities have ordinances against stuff like this. <laughs> Man. I always have something to do. Always have something to do with a yard like this. Look at that cab over. Is that Ford Starliner rear end there? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice Mack truck. Here's the old service station. I don't know if I could get back far enough. Let's see. Nope. as far back as I could get, folks. Yeah, this one he's actually had at shows. I've seen it. Got it on video. Long time ago. Just a lot of awesomeness. Thanks for inviting us to your home, Steve. It's pretty awesome. There, my buddy Sergio.
Oh yeah, party's just starting now. <laughs> See you on the cruise, folks. Yeah, I know. I seen that dip. I was like, oh, too late. <laughs> I gotta ride it out. <laughs> daddy, daddy, get me out. <laughs> you made it. Radiator's in my eyeball. Stirsty wants more. What's <laughs> a 383? Boiling. 413. Boiling. 413. 413. Oh, these guys are jumping in or what? I don't want to. <laughs> oh, he's got two cars up on the balcony. Once in a lifetime. Actually sounds good. That's some fun over at Steve Darnell's house, like I said. <laughs> Check out the cars. He's got a COE up over on the top of the waterfall. It's a little cold, huh? No, oh, it's colder than seven. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like, what, 85 out here right now, so. That's Steve Darnell's backyard, folks. It's got all kinds of stuff. More, more tractors. <laughs> These crazy guys. What an awesome guy Steve is. Thanks for letting us come by, Steve. It's been a blast. Now we're gonna all go cruise. We're gonna go to the Pioneer Saloon, folks. Time to go cruise. Time to go cruising. Oh yeah. Leaving Steve Darnell's house here on our way to Pioneer Saloon. Yeah, what an awesome day so far.
you can see it, but that's the amazing or fantastic something enchanted magic mountains. <laughs> Top of the solar plant out there. This is like the halfway point to the state line. We're in uh, Sloan or something. I don't know what the hell it's called around here. Prim. Prim is 12 miles from here. Where are we going? Closed ahead five miles, eh? When the motorcycle's blocking, it means go, don't stop. Please go on, get around this. I know. World's largest Chevron. We got a White Castle. mirrors on that bike. Hole in the wall, little town. What's 
still not even like the end of the line either. Get me on camera, though. Okay. <laughs> All the people sitting over there like, wow, what's going on here? What? Pioneer Saloon, folks. What a small little town. Small little town in the middle of nowhere in the desert. We all made it. Nobody had any casualties. One or two additions. The Cadillac joined us. The Cheyenne in the back over there came with. What the hell, man? How are you? Oh, okay, yeah. Nice. The armor guy. Yeah. Wow, that was a good And this is his Marilyn Monroe white. He actually is there in person. Oh, yeah? Plus. He does everything. Elvis, kiss, fuck, guy, man. He's done it all. So, yeah. Pretty fun. Yeah, we've got some good drinks now. Nice. Gorgeous. Yeah, what have they got in there? Are you getting iced tea? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. to go get some food and drink hope you enjoyed it maybe we'll get more don't know if not we'll see you soon I'm gonna steal all your shit. Yeah, that is new. Well, I was gonna say, it looks like a, like a little motel thing. 